Hi, Andrew Karestes here from Audio Bro. I just wanted to give you a quick, um, quick video on how to use um, the Auto Arranger, at least just a quick start video. Um, if you see here, I've loaded the Violence First Chair Legato, Violence A Legato, B Legato, and C Legato, so all three Divisi sections plus the first chair. And let's go click on the Auto Arranger tab. It's the Auto Arranger and the Delay and Humanization tab. And um, you'll let's take a look at these controls to get you started. The first thing you'll notice is this Divisi Rules drop-down. This is basically the drop-down that lets you toggle between the Delay and Humanization script and the Divisi script. Now, uh, by default, when you load in an, an LASS patch that is not from a multi, that, uh, one of the myriad of multis we supply, the auto range will be off. Uh, you can turn them on either with, remotely with the uh, CC30 or you can turn them on manually. Obviously, I prefer to turn them on remotely, but I'm just for the sake of demonstration, I'm using my mouse. And uh, you can assign it to any CC you want. Just be careful that you don't cannibalize one of your other CCs um, when you're using LA scoring strings. What you'll be mainly doing with, uh, with the auto arranger is you'll be using this drop down menu. Uh, we've altered this drop-down menu a little bit compared to the teaser video you saw. Now we have uh, first and four part, second and four part, third and four part. This means first voice and four part, second voice and fourth part. And here we have um, A or first chair in three part, B or first chair in three part, C or first chair in three part. What these menus mean is if you have, for example, we're in first chair, pretty much you just put it to A. Or first chair in three part. This is be a that means that in the top voice, the um, the A or the first chair will play uh, assigned to um, a three part. And here we have an A violin. Here again we just sign it to the preset. Here we have a second violin. We sign it to the B or first chair. We ha it says first chair here so that you can have the first chair doubling. The middle voice or the bottom voice if you want in uh, three-part harmony if you go into four part you can then say okay I want the first chair to play the first voice and and, and also the this to play the first voice and the second voice here like this so here's how you basically control the basic settings now these settings were were cleverly put together by us uh, and mainly by Gabor to help you not have to think about all the decisions that you might have to make over in these menus. Okay, so this is a very easy way for you to get going right away, right off the bat. I, to be honest with you, I usually, I leave it in the three part. I have it, this is the way I have it set up for the demos uh, that you've seen so far. A uh, or first chair in three part, this is an A violin, A or first chair in three part. The B is B or first chair in three part, and then the C is C or first chair in three part. The other thing you have is you can control the upper and lower ranges of the instruments. Again, these have been preset for you, but when you start layering different ensembles or different instrument sections, you want to play the bass, cellos, violas, and violins all on one MIDI channel, you're going to want to mess around with these so you don't get too many overlapping sections. Um, here is a a no Divisi or a retrigger Divisi. This is if you play the same note over again, if you're holding down the pedal, you can either have it retrigger the note or not retrigger the note. Um, and then in the expert mode, we have a couple of choices that I think you'll need to look at. The main thing you're gonna wanna look at is the chord detection thresholds. It comes preset to 50, 50 milliseconds which we found to be a nice, easy setting. So if you're a sloppy player like myself, you can kind of uh, get away with, it will recognize your chords pretty well. If you're a decent player, you might want to lower this down to anywhere to 15 or 20, 20 milliseconds. Basically what this does is this tells the auto arranger script how much of a window you are allowing it to identify whether you're playing a chord or whether you're playing an actual line. If you're playing a chord, it will look at it, take a snapshot and say, okay, this is the top voice, this is the middle voice, this is the bottom voice, and it will it will uh, voice the devices accordingly, and it will weight it accordingly to the
quarter, quarter, half uh, section ensemble sizes. Then you have a release threshold, not quite as important as the, the uh, attack threshold, but something you can read about also in the manual. The other thing that I found very useful is this uh, octave uh, drop down. This octave drop down allows you to say, well, I would like to have the second violins play an octave below the first violin. So you just say, okay, if let's just say this, pretend this was the second violin, so you just set it to octave below and you're ready to go. And it will double, it will play the first voice, but an octave below within, and it will recognize the chords with this, within this setting. Now, when you make a change in the expert mode, it tells you it's been customized. So your preset has been customized. You can then save that preset, what you've just done, to any of 12 key switchable presets. So you can then go and click on presets, and these are the key switches that you can select them remotely in order to invoke your, your program changes or key switch changes. So um, this is a, later on we're gonna go into these sub rules, which um, are a little bit more complicated but for right now, I think to get you going, uh, I just wanted to show you mainly the chord detection and the, uh, the basic presets. Uh, also, maybe you might want to look at this. This you can choose uh, what role you want each note to have. If you want it to play the first note, the second note, or third note, or fourth note, seventh note, tenth note, thirteenth note. But in my experience I'm getting by with the uh, the presets pretty well uh, there you go so I hope this is just a little uh, quick kind of get you started how to uh, understand what you see on the front panel here and we'll be posting more of these little videos um, as questions come up all right thank you very much take care